blood supply here where we're entering with the renal artery which branches off into the segmental arteries and then inside the renal column between the renal pyramids it travels as the interlobar artery because a pyramid plus the cortical region makes a renal lobal lobe sorry a renal lobe so we have the interlobar artery going besides the renal pyramids and on top we have the renal uh, the arcuate arteries and from the arcuate arteries we have interlobular arteries reaching all the way up to the renal corpuscles and inside the renal corpuscles we have our first capillary net it is supplied by the efferent arterial leaving the interlobular artery and then the filtration within the nephron can happen. Then draining from the efferent arterial, we have the interlobular vein going into the arcuate vein, going into the interlobar vein, and they return all as interlobar vein into the renal vein. There is no segmental vein. What you also can see within the pyramid, all these blood vessels here, these are supposed to present vasa recta, which we can find with our long nephron loops or with our um, just a medullary um, nephrons. What is not shown here is the um, peritubular capillary, which also uh, branch off the efferent arterial after it exits the glomerulus. The drainage part is described in the more shorter kidney video.